Hello, hello. So I'm early now, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Three minutes right. late. Yeah, yeah, almost three, almost three, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Siempre me les quiero escapar y siempre me agarran a preguntas de la plataforma. Sí. <laughs> That happens, Como you nosotros. know. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be practicing, as you always do, you know, uh, with conversations and rhythms and everything. And maybe the last 15 minutes, we're going to work on the platform. Okay, I'm going to give you some tips and some techniques, how to listen uh, to the audios, you know, how to take notes and like pay attention to uh, the grammar, the, uh, uh, you know, punctuation and, and the, uh, the question marks and everything model, all right? So uh, let me just one second while we... So one moment. All right, so just one moment. All right, so the presentation is loading right now. So uh, give me just one second moment here. Yeah, it's ready right now. Nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have too many things to do right now, or, or a lot of things to do, you know, if I can say it in positive. So, and uh, sorry about that. You know, my you know, coordination just told me to remind you of this. The last day to complete the platform, as I said before, is December the 10th, and this is midnight. And by this coming Sunday, you're supposed to have at least the midterm completed, meaning section one, two, and three, and the midterm, at least. But if you want to do more, or if you uh, have done less, it doesn't really matter. O sea, ya, ya sea que hizo más o menos hasta esta fecha, no hay problema. Con tal que termine el 10 de diciembre antes, so no problem. Arturo, you know, you, you told me already that you finished. So, good job, sir. Yeah. So, so that's great. You're going to help us, you know. <laughs> so, that's it. That's, that's the idea over here, to help each other. Um, nice. So, that's the only reminder that I have for you. Okay. And... Uh, the word of tonight it's the following here we go and all right, all right what is this thing sorry about that se me pierde la presentación perdón <laughs> all right sorry about that All right, let's do this then. Okay, so uh, Thursday, November 26th, and the word of the day is this one. Lo hice a propósito, mentira. Ya era hora. This one. That's the desperation order. About time. You see? About time means ya era hora. Okay? All right, so you, you have been waiting for me, let's say two, three, four minutes, and then I show up. You can say, okay, it was about time. <laughs> Yeah, it all, right? You can say that. So, um, like, you know, last night, uh, the president, uh, Bukele, he said that the uh, COVID-19 vaccine, apparently they purchased 2 million uh, vaccines for us. You can say, it was about time, ya era hora, maybe. You may say that or not, right? Et cetera. Okay, about time. You can say it's about time right now in the present, or you can say it in the past, it was about time. Yeah, ya era hora, all right? It doesn't really matter. So what you're trying to say that something should have happened before, okay? Right? Como si le arreglan la calle, verdad, de su, de su vecindario, de su comunidad, you may say, uh, or your neighborhood, you may say, okay, it was about time that the mayor fixed the, the street or our neighborhood. You may say that. 
Yes, Frank, go ahead. The literal translate about time puede ser, no sé, cuestión de tiempo también. Mm, sí, podría ser, podría ser. Sí, era cuestión de tiempo. Sí, era un poquito más formal esa expresión, la verdad. About time. ¿Verdad? Pero nos, creo que nosotros decimos ya era hora, ¿verdad? Like, like, for example, let me tell you my personal experience. I get paid eh, twice a month, right? So every two weeks, you know, cada quincena. So I got paid. So tomorrow is the 27th. And I'm thinking, so am I going to get paid tomorrow? ¿Me van a pagar mañana? Or maybe on Monday. Mm -hmm. y si me pa and if I get paid on Monday, tipo 4 de la tarde, you know, around 4 p.m., I'm going to say, it was about time, ya era hora. <laughs> I can say that, right? right? ¿Cómo lo pronuncia? It was about time. Así pronuncia. Eh, o solo si la... dice, it's, it's about time. Eh, si es contractado, independientemente. Aquí usted, el contexto se lo da, si es presente o, o es pasado. Porque aquí puede ser, it ah. was or it is about time. It is, ajá. Pero okay. solo dice, it is about time. Si, lo, si no se quiere equivocar, Hágalo uh -huh. neutro, hágalo neutro mejor. It's about time. It's about time. Okay. It's about time, yes. But if you want to emphasize, if, if, you, if you say something, I don't know, about the past, it was about time, right? It was about time. Ya era hora, because it happened in the past. Okay, or it's, it's about time. You may say that, all right? Try to use it, please, because, you know, this is very useful, by the way. Okay, like this one, Tom finally moved out of his parents' house about time. He's 40 years old. Poquito más informal. Ya tiene 40 el muchachito, ¿verdad? And then he needs to go out, you know, fly it away. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, right? All right. Now, let's continue, please. Uh, so, for tonight, we're going to start with this listening activity. So, this is Mr. Uh, Frank. Frank, what's your last name over here? Gonzalez, I think. Yes, it's Gonzalez. So this is your nightmare, you know, for the platform. You said that, right? Last time. It was a little bit difficult for you to complete this. Daily schedules, remember. This is the same exercise uh, as in the platform. Daily schedules over here. So right now, we're just going to listen to it because we don't really have the time to complete everything over there. So just listen and try to pay attention, okay? If this were a real listening uh, practice, you should take notes. So don't trust your memory. So the best thing is to take notes. If you have a notebook, just like Lorena is doing right now, she's taking notes over here. Okay. So and that's what you're supposed. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So remember, we have four categories. Job. We, we know that Greg is a mechanic, but we don't know what time he gets up. Okay. And we don't know either what time he gets home or what time he goes to bed, okay? So Megan, we know that she gets up at seven, but we don't know anything else about her. Laurie, we don't know anything, you know, he could be anything, <laughs> all right? Or, I mean, he could do any, any, anything more. So uh, what I'm telling you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is, how uh, an exercise looks in a textbook, I would say, or just in writing. What you do in the platform at Inglés Corporativo is something, it's the same thing, but in a different format. And that's it. And sometimes that's what uh, difficult because you're not familiar with this. Sometimes we need to write stuff, okay? And that's what happens. So let me play the listening very quickly right now. So here we go. Let me just one second. Let me share the screen again. And uh, I am listening right over here. And here we go. All right, so just to double check, I think it is the listening, this one. All right, so just one moment, please. Page 12, exercise 10, listening. Daily schedules. Yeah, that's the one, listen, please. Part A, 
Listen to Greg, Megan, and Lori talk about their daily schedules. Take notes, Complete please. the chart. What do you do, Greg? I'm a mechanic. Oh, yeah? So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the mornings and afternoons. I get up around 6 a.m., and I work from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. I get home pretty early, about 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. I go to bed at 10. And what do you do, Megan? Well, I'm a receptionist. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job. So I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Lori? Well, my hours are a bit different. I'm a nurse. I start work at 11 o'clock at night. I work until 7 a.m. Wow. So what time do you get up? I get home at 8 and go to bed at about 8.30, and I sleep until 4 p.m. And what do you do in the evenings? Oh, you know. I have dinner, watch TV, see friends. It's a great schedule for me. All right. Now you see, this is what I, what I was talking about. You see, nurses, uh, it, they have a very uh, irregular schedule, right? Or work schedule. So I would say Greg and, and Megan's schedules are very conventional, right? Or normal. But um, Laurie, since, uh, since she's a nurse, she gets home in the morning and then she sleeps during the day and then she gets up at a certain hour. Or other. So I think uh, Frank, because you mentioned this last time, that was the problem that you had because you have like different dates. But just to give you a tip, como un consejo, un tip, uh, take notes, please. And if you don't get it, uh, listen to it again. So just to listen for details over here, okay? Nice. Another thing that, that helps, get familiar with what the listening is about. So read the questions and read everything and then just write and take notes. That's the best thing. So um, let's see, Mr. Arturo uh, Ramirez, sir. Could you help us with Greg's information, please? Okay. okay. Greg, Greg is a mechanic. He get up at 6 a.m. and he gets home at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Usually, he got he got a bed at the 10 p.m. All right. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, now, just try to remember everyone uh, that for he, she, and it, when you're talking about somebody else, you gotta pronounce the S over there. All right. So we go, uh, gets up, gets home, goes to bed. Right. Remember, we gotta do this uh, every single time we speak, you know, so that we get used to, to this information or get familiar. All right, so a volunteer who can help me uh, so, and tell me the answers for Megan, please. Yes, so who would like to help me with Megan's information over here, please? Anybody says like me too? Okay, Frank, go ahead, please. I'm not sure, but Megan is oh, a receptionist. Okay. Yes. A mm -hmm. She gets home at 6 p.m. and she goes to bed at 8 30, and on weekend and on, on, on weekdays and on weekends she goes to bed at midnight. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I, I think she gets home around four if I'm not mistaken. Maybe she said four p.m. right, I think, but I'm not sure about this. All right. Thank you. Uh, what about Lori? So, you know, Lori was a little bit complicated, right? Yes. Who got the information about Lori? So Lori, it's a nurse, right? And yes. she gets up. Um, Until four. Yeah. Yes. And gets home. Eight p.m. I think it's it's in the morning because she works at night. And, yes. And then she goes to bed around eight thirty. She said, right? And then she sleeps. Oh, the whole day. That's that's what I think. Okay. 
All right, so, but let's move forward over here. Now, just to double check, uh, everyone, unit one and two are already covered, which is the same as, as saying lesson one and two. And in your mind, please, let's try to do this self-assessment or auto-evaluation, okay? Just in your mind, you know, try to see if, you, if it's yes or no for you. Very well, okay, or just a little. I'm just gonna say it, y como cuando le hacen el juramento, you know, just in your mind, <laughs> you gotta just repeat, yes, very well, or just okay, or just a little. Okay, como un examen de conciencia. Self-assessment. How well can you do these things? Check the boxes. I can make an introduction and use basic reading expressions. I can show I didn't understand and ask for repetition. I can ask and answer questions about myself and other people. I can ask and answer questions about work. I can ask and answer questions about habits and routines. If you answer it very well on all of them, congratulations. If you have it still okay, that's still good. Uh, but we need to practice a little bit more. But if it's just a little, we need to review those uh, uh, exercises one more time, okay? And that's the idea, when you, when you complete the platform, yes, you have to do it because you need to practice English, not just to pass, and that's what I think, all right? Because in the end, the ultimate uh, goal, or so, the thing maximum is to learn English. You know, that's the purpose over here. All right, let's move forward. Unit three, how much is it? Okay, ¿cuánto cuestan esos cuetes? Le va a decir, ¿verdad? Hoy en Navidad. <laughs> Un mortero, yeah. <laughs> that's what you're gonna say over there. So that's why we have this. So in this unit, you're gonna talk about prices, giving opinions, discussing preferences, making comparisons, buying and selling things. For example, if you have two cell phones, okay, you know, uh, look at look at this. Imagine that you have two cell phones, all right. And then uh, you gotta say, I prefer this one better because of this, all right? Or they, give, they, they tell you, so which one do you prefer? You can say, I prefer uh, the uh, brown one better. Y le pone one at the end, because that's what you gotta say, for example. Uh, and we're gonna use also demonstratives like this, that, or these, and those, and one, and ones. And questions like uh, how much and, and which one do you prefer in comparisons like more expensive or cheaper, etc. Okay, so this is what you're gonna try to uh, learn in the, or you're gonna learn in this unit, all right? Actually, right now, take a look at this, <laughs> uh, at this image. Customers wanted. Se, se necesitan clientes. <laughs> it's the opposite, you know. Customers want it, okay? Due to COVID-19, right? So they haven't sold uh, too many uh, stuff over there, all right? Let's move forward. So right now you're gonna practice this uh, conversation, which is uh, title, it's really pretty, okay? And then you have this lady, you know, walking in, into the uh, shopping, or I would say into this shop, and then she's going to buy some stuff over there. And she's gonna ask about the price. And in the end, maybe she's gonna take it or not. Si lo compra, she's gonna say, I'll take it, all right? Or I'll buy it, all right? So right now, let me uh, uh, play the listening for you. Listen to it. And then uh, I'm going to explain this grammar very quickly and you're gonna complete this exercise. So just to uh, recap the information. You're gonna uh, you're gonna practice this number one this conversation and then number two, you know this this part. All right, but first, let me play the listening for you, and I'm going to explain this grammar. All right, understood, right? Okay. All right. So thank you. Yeah. So let me just yeah. let me just look look for the uh, track, so I can uh, you know, play it for you. So just one second, Maria. All right, and we have this one.
All right, so since it's the first one, here we go. No, I'm sorry. Uh, let me share the screen again because I need to select the audio. Hold on. Choose it. Page 16, exercise 2, conversation. It's really pretty. Part A. Listen. All right, let me just, let me just uh, fix. Can I help you? Let's see the volume if everything is okay. Yes, I have full audio over here. So turn on your volume over here, please. Thank you. Here we go. Unit three. How much is it? Page 16, exercise two, conversation. It's really pretty. Part A, listen and practice. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? The gray ones? They're $18. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? No, sorry. Just gray. Okay. Um, how much is that scarf? Which one? The blue and orange one? No, the yellow one. Let's see. It's $24.95. It's really pretty. I'll take it. All right, so uh, let me just point to something over here. So she's looking at some globes. This one, you know, these are some globes over there. And then the gentleman uh, uh, answers. So they're $18. So he uses uh, there because he's talking about globes in plural. But if it's, let's say, only one thing, like a cell phone, but in this case, but in this case, it's a scarf, you know, a scarf, this one, okay, a bufanda, a scarf. So he answers, it's $24.95. And just one more thing, listen, please. Because uh, they're talking about a scarf, and then they say the blue and orange one. Instead of saying a scarf again, you say one, the orange one, the blue and orange one. La bufanda azul y anaranjada. And then you say, no, the yellow one. No, verdad, la maria. That's what we say. So... If you already mentioned the object or the stuff you're talking about, you can say one, okay? The blue one, okay? Qual carro, which car? Uh, the uh, black one, all right? Which TV? And then you say over there, et cetera. That's how you say. And when you buy it, you say, okay, I'll take it. And to say the price, so how much, how much is the cell phone? It's a hundred dollars. It's, you say it's, or you just say a hundred dollars. All right, you don't really have to say it's or there over here. You just can say, so uh, how much are this? Uh, 18, you can say that, all right? So no problem over there. Okay, um, but let's move, move forward over here. Now let's, let's take a look at this uh, grammar uh, point in here. I'm gonna try to explain it like very quickly because I, I really want you to practice because this is what you're here for. Now the questions are, how much is how much is this or how much is it? All right, and how much are these or 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 the or these etc. Right. So if it's something that you uh, have very close or you can hold in your hands, like for example, I have this, which is not mine by the way. So I can say, so how much is this? Come. But if it's like let's say over there on the shelf. All right, let's see if I'm sharing the screen correctly over here. But let's say if you want to buy this and it's on the shelf, you want to say, how much is that? Because it's, it's over there, right? Como cuando va al centro y le bajan la ropa, So how much are those gems over there, right? So you can say that. Or if it's in the glass and you say, how much is that? Because it's far away, right? So uh, like, like this, if it's far, si está lejos, if it's far, you use that. And if it's only one thing, if it's close to you, you say this. Or if you're holding, or if you're grabbing something, over there. If it's a two things or more than two or three, you say these, all right? And if it's uh, the same, more than one, but it's far away, it's those. In other words, el plural de that is those. And the plural of this is these, just like that. Just like that, all right? So, and I can ask which one, so which one, qual, which one? And then you say, ah, the yellow one, okay? Or the blue one, or the black one, okay? Or which ones, 
¿Cuáles pantalones quiere? Which, which jeans uh, do you want? Okay, which uh, jeans? Ella le dice los blue jeans, ¿verdad? <laughs> los negros. <laughs> the black one, right? The, the black blue jeans. The black blue jeans. <laughs> That's what we say, right? Decimos eso, que like, el que no lo haya dicho no es salvadoreño, ¿verdad? That's what we say, right? Maybe you didn't, you know, this is just a joke. Um, so, let me just continue here. So I think this is clear. And if you want to say the price, if it's only one ten, one single item, you say it's $20, it's $5 or $20. But if you're talking about, let's say, two stuff, the cell phone and this come, all right? So you can say they are $25. It's a combo, you know, just like that. So uh, that being said, do you have any questions, by the way? Don't need to, to say $24.95. Yeah, or you can say it's $24.95, just like that. Okay. Yes. You can eh, also say... Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, la pronunciación this, the ah, okay. one, and this is the two. Thank you. You're welcome, yes. Okay, this, like this one, you say this con una S y cortito. This, this one, right? S y cortito, una I chiquita, like this one, this one, all right? And, but if it's plural, like this one, we say these y con Z, como Brasil. These, these globes. But these, how much are these globes? But honestly speaking, casi nadie hace esta pronunciación, a menos que usted sea nativo, all right? I try to do it because I have to do it. All right, just one thing, uh, Lorena, you asked me, so how do you say it? You say it's $24.95. Nine, si quieres ser correctísimo, you gotta say $24.95 with 95 cents. But you can also say $24.95. Okay. You know, tomorrow is Black Friday. <laughs> you're, gonna have, you're gonna have a lot of things just like that. So don't buy anything, please. Yes. All right, so, um, but if it's plural, it's $18. Por qué? Because I'm selling two stuff. I'm selling the com, you know, this one, and I'm selling the cell phone, you know, there, together, this one. Nice. Now, uh, let me make uh, the uh, breaker rooms, and you're going to practice uh, this conversation, and then this. You're, you're going to try to do this, what you have over here, below, this one, all right? Thank you. Just one second over here. No, no dormimos. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go ahead, please, and, and try to practice. Eh, Frank is with Isabella and Karen, Ana with Noemi, Christopher, Roberto, uh, Ernesto, Kevin, Carla, Lorena, and uh, we have Isael, Jose, Ana, and then join the rooms, please. I'm going to send this information to you right away, okay? So just one second over here. It's an auto. Yeah.
Can I help you? Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? The green ones, they're eighteen dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? No, sorry, just gray. Okay. Um, how much is it that is scarf? Which one? The so, but do they come in black? No, sorry, just gray. Okay, mm, how much is this scarf? Which one? The blue and orange one. No, the yellow one. Let's see. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Excuse me, how, excuse me, how much? How much is that bag? Which which ones? Right. The red one. It's thirty six ninety nine, but um the green one but 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 which ones the green one but the green, the one. green one uh -huh. okay but uh, uh, repeat it's three thirty six ninety nine dollars uh -huh. but the gray ones Green, Ay, me falta todavía, sí, es cierto. Green, one, in only 22, tw uh, $25. Can I help you? No, but I see it, please. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to begin. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So, Carla, uh, so that's, that's what Lorena is stating right now. So it's thirty six ninety nine, but the green one, it's only twenty two uh, twenty five. The green one, this one. All right. Yeah. Continue, please. Sorry about that. That green one. Yeah, but the green one, pero la verde, la amarilla, etc. It's like right. a promotion. Like like a it's like a promotion, correct? Correct. Ah, like uh, okay. Yes, it's an offer, right? It's an offer. Right? It's, it's, it's a right, promotion. it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, right? Okay. Yes. It's it's the uh, the eve, uh, Black Black Friday Eve, yeah. La Vispera, Black Friday Eve. <laughs> no, uh, Pre-sale, okay. pre-sale. Pre <laughs> but, but the green one is only $22, $25. <laughs> uh, Oh, they are. They are. Yeah, which one? Which one are which one are you talking about right now? Which one? Sorry. No, the light blue one. Yes, correct. Oh, they are. Yes. Exactly. Exactly because you're talking about blue gyms, el par de gyms. You know. Uh -huh. That's why. Yes. So, which ones do you mean? Uh -huh. Which one? Which, uh -huh. which ones? Uh -huh. Exactly. Which ones do you mean those? No, uh, do you mean that? Uh, do you uh, mean yeah. the, this? 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 Yeah, you can say that. But in this case, excuse me, how much are those gyms? All right. And then, and then she says, which ones? Do you mean this? Because I think it's just the... Just, uh, the sales clerk, es la vendedora, mm -hmm. you know, she's the sales, this, this ones, you may say. Mm -hmm. No, the light, the light blue, oh. And then like you said, Mauricio, you say they're, or they are, 59.95, right? 59.95. Yeah, and then she replies, wow, that's expensive, you know, almost $60. Yes. Much. Yeah, too much, right? <laughs> uh -huh. y luego, 
um, how much is uh, is this backpack? How much is this backpack? Mm -hmm, in this backpack. Which one? Which one? Uh, the red one. Mm -hmm. It's thirty six ninety nine. But uh, the, the green one. Answer. But the green one. Uh, but the gray one is only twenty two twenty five. That's not. Can I see uh -huh. it? Please. Can I see it? That's correct. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now let's go back to the main station. All right. We're gonna continue with the class right now. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. So welcome back, everyone. Um, just to review the grammar, I'm gonna ask. Uh, let's see, Mr. Roberto Jimenez and Mrs. Lorena. Uh, to help me practice these two conversations. The one about the gyms and the one about the backpack, please, if you don't mind. Okay. So go ahead, please. Uh, okay. If you, yeah, Lorena, you start and then uh, Roberto, you, you are B, please. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Mm -hmm. which, which one do you mean this? No, the light blue one. Oh, they are a uh, five night dollar ninety five cent, cent, uh, cent. Wow, that's fancy. <laughs> no thanks, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. Yeah, continue. How much are, are that backpack? Is that backpack? Sorry. Mm -hmm. How much? Uh, which one? Mm -hmm. The red one. It is twenty twenty seven dollars fifteen cent cent. <laughs> oh, that's cheaper, right? <laughs> but the green one one is only is only twenty two dollar twenty five cents. All right. Okay, that's the one. Can I see it, please? All right. You know, <laughs> she, she's a good sales clerk that is giving you another price right now. <laughs> you know, that's Friday. Black Friday, yeah, that's Black Friday. <laughs> so what you're doing, what you're doing is this, regatear, bird game. Yeah. I just sent this to you, bird game. Bird game is regatear. Regatear, yes, bird game. Bird game. Yeah, you say bird game. You say okay. like bird game. Es como una chiquita, you know, like bird game. You know, bird game, like bird game. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's move forward over here. So remember, if you don't want to say the item, Two times you say which one, the blue one, the red one, those ones, etc. All right, or these ones. All right, let's move forward over here. I have another conversation for you. Nice. In this one, its name, I prefer the blue one. Okay, so now I'm gonna play it for you very quickly and, and then you're going to practice, but not only this. Okay, you're gonna practice uh this second exercise which is grammar as well but you know i don't think we really have the time because i really want to help you with the platform so let's just practice the uh the conversation because for for this what i'm talking about is so which sweater do you prefer okay so which sweater do you prefer and you say ah, i prefer the blue one which one do you like more ah, i like the blue one more or better you can say that which one do you like better? I like the blue one better. And why? Because it's nicer than the green one. That's why I prefer the blue one. Uh, why do you like the uh, blue one more? Because it's prettier than the green one. Uh, so which one do you like better? Ah, I like the blue one better. Why? Because it's more stylish than the green one, etc. So all I'm saying is you say, okay, I prefer this one better. And you say the reason why. That's it. Okay, that's it. Because it's cheaper, because it's uh, more useful, o sea, más útil, or because it's, I don't know, Peter, uh, etc. So it's up to you. Or do, you just like it more, maybe just because, because of that. So right now, we're just gonna practice the, uh, the conversation. 
Why? Because this exercise is also in the platform, this one, okay? But right now we're gonna just practice the conversation and I'm gonna help you with the midterm exam. Okay, so let me just, let me play the listening so you can uh, get the, uh, the right pronunciation out of this. So one second. And uh, here we go. Um, okay, this one is the next conversation, I think it's this one. Page 16, exercise two, part B. Listen no. to the rest of the conversation. What Sorry. else does the customer look at? Mm, does she buy know. it? This is exercise number nine, so I gotta look for the correct one more. There. Sorry about that. And um, it's this one, all right? Page 19, exercise nine, conversation. I prefer the blue one. Part A, listen and practice. Are you able to listen? Yes, right? Yes. These wool yes. sweaters are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The green one? Why? Mm -hmm. It looks warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer the blue one. It's more stylish than the green one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the sweater? It's $139. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. All right, that was very quick. So that's why they, Brett asked the green one, why? And he says it looks warmer, so... Pretty much, if you prefer something, you got to, you know, explain why, you know, explain the reason why. That's why they ask about that. And uh, I don't think there's anything new for you on this one. So let's just practice. Yes. Do you have a question? What's mean warmer? Uh, like you have a sweater. Listen to this. All right. Le voy a mostrar las colchas que están por acá. <laughs> you know, you see, look, look at this one. You see this one. All right. But if I show you this one, sorry, all right, this one. Esta es una sábana normal. But you see this one, this is warmer. Más caliente. Pero más calientita. Warmer. Prasada. Como para invierno. Uh -huh. Yes, it's warmer. So that's what I'm saying. I'm ready, you know. I know you were, were going to ask that. <laughs> yeah. Black Friday, you know, Black Friday. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the last time to practice in the breaker rooms, practice a conversation one or two times, and then we're gonna just come back over here. All right, just one second over here. Uh, here we go. Four nineteen. Go ahead, please. Join the rooms. They're welcome already. There is only one group of three because we are 19 in this class. Plus me, 20. Let me send the, uh, the, um, the image right away. All right, so you, you are three over here because uh, I 19, entonces las parejas no salen cabal, so that's why. All right. Okay. Yeah, I sent it already. I, I sent it already. The one that says conversation nine, I prefer the blue one. That one. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? You will be red. 
Oh. Sí. And I will be Lisa. Yeah, you're Brett and I am Lisa. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I go ahead. And this wool sweater are really nice. Which one? Hola. It's, it looks warm. I like the green one more. The green one? Why? It looks. There's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this sweater? It's one hundred thirty nine dollar. Cuanto era? One hundred thirty. All right. Hello. Hello. Hola. <laughs> yes, you call me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Me invocaron, you know, you summoned me. Sí, de repente apareció. Yeah, just like this, right? All okay. right. Uh, Vaya, empieza si gusta, o empiezo yo. Ah? This wool sweater is really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see, I like the green one more. The green one? Why? It looks warmer. That's true. But I think I like the blue one. It's more stylish than the green one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is it ready? It's 139. Would you like to try it on? I know, that's okay. But... <laughs> You're welcome. Voy a regresar. <laughs> sí, no, le digo que ni, que ni ganas de probárselo, de verdad. <laughs> ya voy a regresar, que fíjese que no ando cambio. <laughs> you know, I'll get back, you know, I'll be back, you know, I'm just going to go to the ATM. Solo voy al cajero, I'm going to go to the ATM. <laughs> that happens, you know. Yeah, now let's go back to the main room. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you too. All right, so um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so welcome back. You know, I, I realized out of this conversation that the sweater was too expensive, that uh, Brett says, no, thank you, right? Thanks anyway. And I was telling Lorena, like, uh, voy a regresar, like that what we say in Spanish, right? I'm coming back. <laughs> I'll come back, right? I'll be back. I'm just going to go to I come back today. <laughs> yeah. I come back tomorrow. Vamos a lula lula. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> Al Sagrado oh. Corazón. <laughs> yeah or yes now uh let me just go to the uh to the platform you know to um to show you just some information out of the uh the midterm over here remember uh uh numbers you can say it's 139 or 139 139 or 139 so it's up to you Okay, so um, let me share the screen again. We have like, let's say like almost 10 minutes. So we still have time. So just one second more here. Okay. Let's see, yes, all right, so I found that. Nice. Okay, so the mixture can be found uh, after section three. So, and that's the one. I actually took it today. It, take, uh, it takes around, let's say half an hour if you wanna take it just one time. You have the listening, fill in the blanks, circle the word, complete the sentences and the reading one, okay? And as I told you before, you can apply some techniques or some strategies for, for this, for this listening. This listening, let's see if I remember. Yeah, it was a little bit, it was a little bit tricky over here, right? So um, let's see, I'm not supposed to, you know, to show you the answers just like this, but yes. So look at, look at this, please. All right. I mean, take advantage, you know, of this. <laughs> All right. Yes, take a screenshot, you know. It's the easy way out to resolve the problem. 
it's the easy way out, yes. The thing is that I wanna I wanna show you the technique that I used over here. Okay, here we go. Over here, so you don't know which one it is now. Now, first of all, read the instructions. And you have both instructions in Spanish and English, but if I were you, just read the ones in English. So listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. In this case, so it's telling you it's a multiple choice. So number one, it's read instructions. Number two, read every single question and the option. So CLV is maybe Lucy's friends from Toronto or maybe she's Michael's classmate. I don't know and I don't remember. CLV's last name is maybe Marceau, Marceau or Marco. Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting, is really good maybe. Uh, and they are all in the cafeteria in the same school or in the same chemistry class. So once you are familiar with this, you play it. And the good thing is that you have the control over here because you can pause it. But in a real classroom or in a real uh, scene, you wouldn't have control over this. What you gotta do is ask, you know, repeat. So in this case, what you, what you can do is the following. And this is what I do. That's what I do, okay? I can either take notes about this and just play and listen to this, all right? And then I just take notes, okay? So it's, it's, it's a friend, etc., and just like that. And I just keep on uh, last name is, and then you just write it down. That's one way, but if you wanna just do it uh, at once, the una sola vez, at once, you play it, and then you uh, have to pay attention and just select. Keep on selecting as they are speaking, keep on selecting and everything, and just like that. Remember that uh, this platform, you can complete it as many times as you want, but we don't really have uh, enough time for this. So that's what I do. So what I do is to listen to this simultaneously. So at the same time, so that's what I do and it works for me. But if you just play it and if you don't do anything, you're gonna get it wrong because your memory is going to fail you. So either you take notes or you just complete it and just maybe you're gonna have everything correct or not. Okay, and just click on submit, then it's going to give you uh, the percentage and just, just like that. So that's what I do, all right? But uh, since we don't like to do the things, you know, the easy way out, let's move forward over here. And again, you're gonna be able to see the responses over here, but that's not, that's not the, the, the purpose over here. Um, it says, so fill in the blanks with the correct form or B. So to start with, it's the form uh, of B. A, and then be careful, read everything. Where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City, how about you? All right, so it's you. So I'm supposed to use R, right? And the next one, David in your class this semester? Yes, we're in the same Spanish class. Okay, so it's asking me just about David. So I know how to use the verb B with this. Okay, and then you continue. What I'm saying is that do not rush to, to respond. And be careful. If it's the beginning of a, of a question, you gotta use capital letters like this, you know, is David, you know, capital. Be careful with that, okay? So in this case, it's in between, you gotta use R and just like that, okay? Eh, no crean que porque es la plataforma del teacher ya me da la respuesta, ¿verdad? I actually have to do it and click on submit and then double check it over there. So I have actually do this, by the way. So, y si yo no le pongo también mayúscula o minúscula, it's going to be incorrect for me as well. So, that's, that's what I'm saying over here. If it's talking about a school, yes, you got to say go, right? Like this, okay? Like do, it's he, so it has to be that, etc. All right? And this one, it says circle the word, but in this case, it's a multiple choice, like this one, take a look. Nice to meet you, Rick. And what's last name again? So I'm talking about you, Rick. It's not there, it's not his. So it's supposed to be your, right? Because it's your name, right? What's your last name again, for example? All right, so let's continue over here. This is multiple choice. 
and we have complete the sentences. This one's this one is a little bit tricky. Um, ¿Saben qué es lo que pasa? Si yo me regreso y vuelvo, y aunque se lo borre, me lo da como ya lo completé. <laughs> so I cannot erase them. Si yo quiero, no, si, no se lo, si no se los quiero mostrar, siempre me lo va a mostrar. Si se fijan, you see? Because I did it already. All right? Because I did it already. So that's a problem. Order. So fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. I sleep. If it's a time of the day, it's at. If it's like weekdays, you say on. If it's like in the morning, you say in. In here, a, a specific day, it's on, etc. All right? And that's how you do it. And let's move forward. Reading, this is my favorite, by the way. The way I do the reading is I read everything. Okay, but first of all, I read the instructions. It says I read the email, then check the correct answer. And then I check the question. Ernesto is, Chris is, uh, Daniel is, on Tuesday and Thursday, Chris is. So what I do is, I read first. I read everything. Y esto no es un, no es un, no es un examen de memoria. It, you have to scan the document, just like this. Ernesto is Chris. And then we're gonna see, we're gonna see the options. Classmate, new friend, and best friend. First of all, I read it, and then I look at the question and the option, and just and just double check uh, one of these options. So we have Ernesto is Chris. We have who's writing? Hi, Ernesto. Chris is writing over here. Um, blah blah blah, etc. And then you keep on reading, and then it says your new e friend. So Chris is telling Ernesto and your friend and your friend. So, and here we go. Ernesto is Chris, it's not a classmate, it's not a best friend, it's just the new friend. All right, and that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, do you have any questions about this? All right, but, but as you can see, the practice that we do every class helps you a big deal to complete everything over there. Okay, so the best thing to do a, a, a uh, reading quiz is read first the text, then look at the question and just go back to the text, you know, to just look for the answer over there. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, to scan the information over there. If there are no questions, I gotta let you go. And just to let you uh, also uh, remind you that uh, if you could complete this midterm by this uh, Sunday, it would be great. All right. It's okay. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good night. So, and see you on Monday. You know, God's yeah. will. Primero Dios, God's will over here. Good night. Good see you Monday, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good yeah, night. see you Monday. Bye bye. Tomorrow? No, it's it's only um, Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, we don't meet on Friday. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't worry about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so goodbye. Thank you. See you Monday. <laughs>